All right, hello. So I'm gonna do a uh, unboxing for Coldacept Revolt. This is for the uh, the 3DS. Uh, bear with me. I'm, I'm recording on my phone. Just I haven't done a video in a while, so I figured I got this one today. So before I open it, I'll uh, showcase it off. Um, show you all the sides. This is the the 20th. Oh God. This is the uh, the 20th anniversary of Coldacept in 1997. It came out in uh, Japan on the Sega Saturn. Uh, I believe later it came out on the PS1, the DS, the PSP, and PS3. Only in Japan we got uh, a PS2 release of uh, Coldacept um, in 2003, uh, and then the Coldacept Saga, which came out on 360, and then it was 2006. Um, so basically, Coldacept, for those of you who don't know, is a card game that meets a board game, um, and you take you play as Alan. Um, who is a recent recruit for the Rebel Freebats? Uh, Alicia or Alicia, again, I haven't played it, so I don't know how it's pronounced. She basically uh, invites you to join the Freebats as you fight for freedom against uh, the Count. Um, you know, so basically, what you do is you collect cards, you build decks, you make strategies, you summon monsters. Uh, there's over 400 cards um, in total. You can play by yourself, online, uh, and there's four player local. Uh, combat or local play. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. There's also a uh, manga based off the original Coldacept. Uh, the six volumes of it, um, which I, I guess is cool if you're super into this. So let's open it again. Bear with me. I'm I'm doing this on my phone, so it's kind of hard for me to. Uh... Right, so I got that plastic off. So you got the emblem for Coldacept right there. Uh, Alright, we're gonna open this. So I think this release is October 3rd. Um, this is uh, from NIS's and, uh, his website. Uh, again, collector's edition. I don't remember how much this was. Let me see if I can. Okay, so that was no help. I think it was $60. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I ordered it. Um, but yeah, so this was the the box. It's got again throughout the hole. You got the foil with the cul-de-sac itself. Cool. Um, here's the game case. Let's see if I can. Oh, I was on an angle. Nope, my stupid hands in the way. There we go. So as you can see over to the right, uh, challenge your friends online or locally. Over 40 hours of story and quest mode. Battle with uh, 400 cards, customize your experience, or the strategy awaits. And then you got the free bats over here, I believe. Uh, I think in the back that's the count. I don't, like I said, I don't really know too, too much about this one in, in particular. Um, Alright, so that's that. I'll open that in a sec to see if there's anything in it. Uh, next, we have an art book. Uh, Sorry, that's my, uh, yeah. uh, call this out Book of Scepters. I think this is all the, um, nope, that's, yeah. So we got her, we'll go through this. Feel free. Oh, God. There we go. I'll pause it. I mean, I'll, I'll go slow and try to get it to focus, so if you guys want to pause that and read it. Sorry about the shakiness, I'm not the best with this. You got Yuma. Oh, jeez. My lighting's awful, guys. Again, I'm doing this, like, on my bed, so... I'm trying to figure out how to do this without getting my fat head in the way. Whatever, no one cares about what's your name, Tenant? Yeah, no one cares about her. We got it. Jen. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I was right. That was a count on the cover. Um, this looks like his army. Yo, what up, Hypna? Meaning. You got 
Mantis, Creed, Mori, uh, Nighthawk, kinda looks like, uh, McCree from Overwatch, except this guy's a G, he's got some, some tumbling in his mouth. Oh, here we go, diversity is, you got, uh, alright, I don't need nine to try, ND, Fireflot, Firefly? Yeah, I don't know, but this is Lena. Yeah. I totally stopped. Like, if you guys want me to do more in depth of this, which I doubt you will, just let me know. And I'll uh, do that. That's pretty cool. So you got that. Scepters. Um, Got this. Oh, there's actually something in there. Alright, so you get a 20th. This comes with more than I thought it did. So the 20th anniversary. Um, 1997 2017. Um, let me open this real quick. Alright, these were metal die. pretty cool. I'll open that for you now. I would like to point out, uh, it's cool it wasn't like glued, it was just pushed in like that. So, they come out and go back together super quick. Let's put that right there. And I'll show you. Let's see. I'll pick them up, actually. So, uh, this dude. Coil. Uh, there's the... Oh, come on. Can get that? Illustrator. Alright, um, that's the back of the card. We got this dude, Ghost. Uh, they're all all from different artists, which is also really cool. So I wonder if that means there is that many artists that contributed to this. And then, wow, that one's awesome. All right, I'll uh, I'll open the case just to show in case there's anything special in here. I don't think there is, but other than that, that's gonna you know what that is. Do a quick overview after, but that's gonna pretty much do it. All right, so nothing really special in the uh, in, in the case, just a piece of paper, warnings and stuff like that. So that's the game. Overall, not bad for sixty bucks. The game itself, I want to say, is forty. Um, so to get all this extra stuff with it is a, a pretty good uh, value, I guess. If you ask me, like I'm not, I don't know what to do uh, with the soundtrack. I probably won't listen to that. But the art book was cool. Those photo cards are awesome. The die, the metal die is cool. The pin's awesome. Uh, this is a really nice box. It's not like flimsy like a lot of the, the box DS games. So, uh, let me know what you think down below. Are you going to pick this game up at all? Or, you know, are you going to go with the collector's edition? They may still be available. Um, if not on their website, check out the retailers, but I'm, I'm sure it's available on the website. If it is, I will leave a link in the uh, description for you guys to go uh, order. Alright, thanks. Till next time.